Located in the diverse Kennedy Heights neighborhood of Cincinnati, the Kennedy Heights Art Center provides a wide range of arts and cultural programs to area residents. Today I'm sitting down for a conversation with Executive Director Ellen Muse Lindemann to learn more about their mission and impact in the community. Welcome Ellen. Thank you. For a lot of our viewers, explain the mission and what the Kennedy Center Art Center is all about so they know what, a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. At Kennedy Heights Art Center, we often use the tagline, make art, build community. So we're all about bringing people together and um, creating a more vital neighborhood um, through the arts. And so that speaks to our mission, which is to uh, create arts and cultural experiences for people that embrace diversity, foster creativity, and build community. That's awesome. And so speaking of community, um, one of the things that I find really fascinating about Kennedy Arts Center is the fact that it was driven by a really grassroots community drive to, to, to create it. So could you explain the history and the background of how Yeah, I think the history of the Art Center is really inspiring. There were a group of residents who came together to save this historic mansion, the Kennedy Mansion, that was slated to be demolished. It was built in 1875, a beautiful structure in the, the oldest building in our community, and they came together to save the mansion and literally went door to door to community council to gain support from local residents, and they succeeded in purchasing the building and renovating it and had the idea to create an art center as a way to provide you know something that would benefit everyone in the community. Well that's great and speaking of providing things to the community I just saw on your on your website that you had a residency with the Inlet Dance Theater and a full disclosure you know we had talked about uh, my love of dance. Um, was that something unusual for your organization to include the performing arts as a part of its organization and its mission? Yeah, that's something new in the last couple of years. Um, each year we do host an artist in residence every spring, and that's free and open to residents of all ages where they get to interact with and learn from and, uh, you know, distinguished artists from the state and then we all come together for a big community project but we had never done dance before because our original building that I just talked about the Kennedy Mansion you know is a beautiful facility but it's a home so all of the rooms are small oh, yeah. but a, just a couple of years ago we expanded and um, opened a space next door our Lindner Annex that has a wide open space for dance and so um, in our first year with the new facility we hosted a dance company and it was a one wonderful experience and hope to do a lot more. So Ellen, tell us about some of the programs and activities the center offers to uh, the residents. And sure. We have an art gallery and offer rotating art exhibitions focusing on local, regional, and sometimes national artists and really use that as a springboard for conversation. We also offer a wide range of arts education programs for kids and adults in visual arts like drawing and painting and photography, but also now in some performing arts like dance. And then lastly, we offer for community um, events, cultural events like a Hispanic Fiesta or our um, annual Winterfest or Fall Harvest Party every year and these are great opportunities for people of all ages to come together. All uh, the Kenny Heights Art Center is free and open to the public and all of our classes are offered on a sliding scale basis so um, basically people can pay what they afford. Well, that's pretty cool. And uh, speaking of diversity and the arts and creativity, which is really important these days because we, you know, having a lot of uh, diverse creators and audience members. Um, can you speak to like what that annex has helped do in bridging that kind of gap in the arts and why that's important? Yeah. So. Um Several years ago, a group of residents from the community, so very similar to how the Art Center was founded, turned their attention to this empty um, building at uh, the corner of Kennedy and Montgomery, the heart of our community, which formerly had been a Kroger store and been sitting vacant and dilapidated for 15 years. And so we partnered with two other groups in the community to purchase and rehabilitate that space, and uh, which was subdivided, and uh, so a third of that became our Lindner Annex, which provides a uh, space for artist studios as well as performing arts space, as I just talked about. Um, but even greater than providing opportunities for us to expand our services, it has made just a transformational impact on the community, where once was this eyesore that uh, was targeted for vandalism is now this beautiful cultural campus that's pride to everyone in the community. And so, you know, it's really those kinds of efforts of local people that are uh, 
turning things around in the neighborhood. That's really cool. And well, preservation and readaptive use seems to be kind of like built into the mission yeah. with, you know, with the man, with the mansion that you renovated and also readapting the the, the, the annex. Um, what would you say to like people in the community and audience members who are watching about what they could do with these blighted areas in their communities exactly. and, and involving the arts? What would you say to them? Exactly. How, yeah. So first of all, I'd say that, um, you know, lead from the strengths within your community. Kennedy Heights has long been known as a friendly, diverse, progressive community with you know great folks and a strong sense of community. But unfortunately, the strip in our, uh, like so many urban neighborhoods, the business district just deteriorated and deteriorated and so that there were just many vacant properties that give the impression of a downtrodden neighborhood when really there was so much strength and vitality uh, within the residents. So number one, I'd say, just you know, bring together your residents, and when you have a strong vision and there are people working behind it, then you can attract resources. All the folks who came together to first create Kennedy Heights Art Center and then renovate that old Kroger building, you know, none of us had a lot of money, none of us had a lot of power, but when we worked together and had strong vision, we were able to attract partners who invested in our vision and helped us achieve it. So I think you know, don't get the big. Um, piece of advice would be to bring people together and create a shared vision and you know don't feel like just because you're small and don't have a lot of resources that you can't achieve it because I think you can. That's awesome and so you've just had the annex which has only been in a year in existence what big plans are for the Kennedy Arts Center for the future? So um, with the expansion and the annex, we have a lot of plans in the area of performing arts, which is exciting. So not only dance, but um, monthly jazz concerts, other kinds of music concerts that we can um, present uh, for area residents. Also, we're launching a program, Celebrations with Heart, which provide hands-on, artist-led experiences for groups. That is kind of a fun way to bring people together. So maybe it's a corporate team building or a, you know, a celebration like someone's birthday or an anniversary or just something that people want to do together because we know how the arts bring people together in really a unique way and help them connect and get to know each other. It's kind of instant bonding when you create something together um, and that's really lasting. So we're looking forward to doing many more of those kinds of projects. We also opened a new digital media um, lab in the building. So we are excited to be able to do projects in video, filmmaking, animation, graphic design. So uh, many more opportunities for residents to get creative and create things they're proud of. Well, Ellen, thanks so much for sharing this information Pleasure. about the Kennedy Heights Arts Center. And, and I look forward to coming down there and visiting. Oh, I hope you do. All right, thanks.